Hello everyone, this is Ambi. Today we will talk about another PowerShell topic that is decision making. So let us define two parameters A equals 5, B is 4. If first uh, let's verify something, right? A is greater than B. That is true, right? So is A is less than B? That is false. But what if you want to take a decision based on if it is true, then take this decision. If it is not true, then check for another condition in so go keep going while so as long as some condition is true, then based on that, you take a decision. So what I'm saying here is we already know that this is true, right? So I want to say if and true, then I'll say a minus a plus b okay okay plus b press f5 okay that is true what if uh, i want to extend that then i'll say else if condition is a less than b i will say a minus B. Like this. And then I will def finally, I want to do this. Else A star B. So what's happening? We know that A is greater than B. So it is doing A plus B. Well, what if it is not? What if I make this 6? Now we know that A is not greater than B, but A is less than B, so this will get executed. Minus 1 makes sense. So 5 minus 6 is minus 1. What if both of these conditions are not true? That is 5. So A is not, A is greater than B then this gets executed, but A and B are equal here. Both of these conditions are not true. So A star B will get executed. That is this, 25. So this is how you take a decision. You can also use another uh, switch parameter for that. Let me do this input read post. So it's gonna take input from the user, choose between a to G or I would say choose between A or B A or B okay and then enter here I will use switch input if the user chooses A then I will Say, I would like to just print this out. What is, let's say, A for Apple. And if the user chooses B, then let it be B, banana. Now, press F5. I choose A, prints Apple. Then I choose B, Apple. Well, let's run again. I type C, nothing happens. Well, so we can also go ahead and uh, do a default here. So if none of the options are true, if I'm not choosing a valid one, then the default action should be, okay, I will write, you chose wrong. If I, I choose C, it says you goes wrong so this is how you make decisions we will use this extensively later 
when we touch upon loops. Thank you for tuning in. Have a great one.